Today we're going to take a look at how to use the Desmos Geometry Tool and we are specifically going to look at how to create a worksheet using area and perimeters of a polygon and how to make that accessible. So I am in the Desmos Geometry Tool which is desmos.com slash geometry and this is the worksheet that we're going to be using. Um, and I'm specifically going to look at number seven right now, which is a hexagon with a line segment from the bottom going halfway up. And that line segment is labeled SA. So I'm going to um, be back on the canvas here on the Desmos. The canvas is the big section in the middle. There's a toolbar ribbon at the top above the canvas. And there are some, a couple of other settings on the right hand side. So in a column going down the right. So we're going to use that first setting, the geometry settings on the column on the right. It looks like a little wrench. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to toggle on the grid. Now, since I'm going to make a hexagon, I'm going to go to the top toolbar above the canvas and I'm going to select the polygon tool. Now, since the um, hexagon has six vertex or vertices, I'm going to go ahead and do six dots. So I'm going to just click. I'm going to move over to the next area, click. I'm going to come down, click. And that's the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. Now, I have my hexagon on the screen, but I have to close that hexagon. So I have to go back and click on the first vertex as well. So I'm going to do that. Now I'm looking at my vertex and it's a little wonky. So I'm going to um, drag a few of these points to make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to go up in the toolbar in the ribbon and I'm going to select the arrow and this just allows me so I'm not every time I touch I'm not making another point on the screen. Now I can drag the various points around a little bit to clean it up and make it look just a little bit neater. Let's see. Okay, you can spend a little bit of time doing this if you like. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and put in my line segment. So I'm going to go back up to the ribbon at the top. I'm going to select line. Now I do have the options of segment, line, ray, vector, parallel, perpendicular, and angle bisector. I simply want the segment. So I clicked on that. And now when I drag my cursor across the canvas, you see I have another point. I'm going to put my point in and I'm going to go up to the about in the middle and I'm going to put my second point. And now I've dragged my cursor off of my polygon and I'm going to go up to the top and hit the arrow button so I'm no longer making points and lines. Now I'm going to drag back to my polygon and I'm going to hit that point that's in the middle of the image and I'm going to select that and that changes the options in my ribbon in my toolbar. So I'm going to go over to the one that's the labeling one which is an A and it automatically types in the letter A. So now I'm going to go to the bottom of that line segment I'm going to select it and I'm going to label it S. So I'm going to go up to the ribbon. I'm going to select the A again for the labeling. And it automatically says B. I want to change that to S. So, oh. so I'm going to type in, <laughs> it would help if I did it correctly, wouldn't it? I'm going to go and type in S. Okay. So now that I've typed it correctly, I am going to go ahead and save. And to remember, you have to be logged in in order to save. So over on the left hand side where the equations normally are, there's a save button. I'm going to hit save and I'm going to call this, since it's um, image for question seven, I'm going to call it um, image seven. 
going to hit save. Okay, now I want to share this so that I can put it in my Word document. Um, I'm going to hit the share button, which is above the regular ribbon where the tools are. On the right hand side is a share construction. So I'm going to hit that. A pop up comes up and says that I can share the link or I can export the image. I actually want to do both for this demonstration. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the link and I'm going to export the image. And I'm going to download it when I selected export image. It came up and gave me a couple of options like what size do I want, if I want ping format, if I want thin or thick or medium line thicknesses. And then I hit download. And as you see, it went into my download folder. Okay, so we'll come back to that in a minute. Now, here is my Word document that I've made. I've already put in a couple so you can see the first question is has image one and if I click on that it will open up image one in Desmos. So we were doing number seven so I'm going to slide down till I get to number seven. Here's question seven. I've already typed this out so that I can show you how I'm going to insert that link. So I highlighted under number seven, question seven, I highlighted the text image seven. I'm going to um, command K to open up the pop-up for the link, command V to add the link in. I'm going to hit return so it's done. Now I have image seven as a link here in my Word document. I'm going to go ahead and um, I hit return to be down on the next line and I'm going to add a visual picture. So now I'm just going to copy, oops, I have to go ahead and open it. I'm in my download folder and I am going to copy the image that we just created and I'm going to paste it. Nope, it did not. Okay. There. I didn't catch it the first time, so now I've copied it. And I'm just going to go ahead and make it a little bit smaller because this visual image is more for teachers um, than it is for the visually impaired student. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save in my document. Now, if I want to see how that all works, I'm going to go ahead and select the link image seven. It automatically goes over, um, opens up Desmos. So you, I have another Desmos open, another tab for Desmos, and here it is. And now the student that's visually impaired can access this diagram with a screen reader.